So we're going to take our divisor here, which is the, on this one's already in descending order for us. That was very generous of them. 2x to the power of 5 minus 6x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3 minus 4x plus 3. And we're going to divide this by x squared minus 3. So starting this off, again, we'll start with this leading coefficient, this leading term, 2x to the power of 5. How many x squareds go into 2 times uh, x to the power of 5? Well, that's, that could be considered 1x squared. So how many times does 1 go into 2? Twice. Um, how many more x's would we need to make that x squared and x to the power of 5? Yeah, you need three of those. So when I multiply these, 2x to the power of 3 times the x squared, then I get a 2 times x to the power of 5, and I'll subtract that out. Now on the other hand here, we got the 2x to the power of 3 times that negative 3, which would be a negative 6x to the power of 3, right? Um, so you see how this is lined up right here? How I've got that x to the power of 4 and x to the power of 3? I can't combine those. So I need to move that x to the power of 3. Oh, I, sorry, I didn't mean to erase that other stuff. Uh, I need to move that negative 6 x to the power of 3 uh, just in a column with the other x to the power of 3 because I have to combine it with like terms still. Uh, but of course, we would do the opposite of negative. So this is a 1x to the power of 3 plus 6x to the power of 3. Uh, of course, these canceled out. The negative 6x to the power of 4 just drops. And then we got a uh, plus 7x to the power of 3. And we still have this other stuff. <clears throat> Well, let's continue on with this. So, um, we have this leading term now, which is negative 6x to the power of 4. And uh, 1x squared will go into a negative 6. Well, let's just look at the numbers, sorry. 1 will go into negative 6, well, negative 6 times. Okay? And if I have x squared, and what we need is an x to the power of 4, we need two more x's, so I have x squared there. So now when I multiply these, I got negative 6x squared times this x squared, which would give us negative 6x to the power of 4. But of course we change the sign there to plus. Uh, then we do that negative 6x to the power of 2 times this negative 3, which would be uh, 18 18x squared, and then we'll subtract that out. Now notice there's no other x squareds in that original uh, dividend to combine with. So it's just, it's just going to be there after we add and subtract, or we're just going to add that 6x to the power of 4. Now what this means is for some of you it may be more understandable to put a plus 0x squared here, just to fill in that place value. Um, whether you do or not is really up to you, though. So, all right, this is great, because now these cancel out. Uh, I still have this 7x to the power of 3, but now I've got a minus 18x squared, just to keep this in descending order, minus 4x, and then plus the 3. So I dropped all these down. All right. So now let's look at this 7x to the power of 3. We got that 1x squared. So uh, if I multiplied it by 7, then I would get the 7 there, which is what I want. Uh, right here I've got an x squared. This is an x cubed. So I need another x there. So I got uh, 7x times x squared, which be 7x cubed. Of course, we'll subtract that out. Then I've got 7x times this negative 3, which would be a negative 21x. So I'm going to plant this over here with a minus 4x. 
and I'll change the sign to plus. So with a little bit more space, the seven x cubes cancel out. We still have the negative 18 x squared. Negative uh, four x plus 21 x, that is a positive 17 x. And then we got a plus three. Okay. Um, well, the process just starts over again. So how many times does this 1x squared go into negative 18x squared? Well, that would be negative 18 times. And since the x's are matching, we can just multiply these two. Negative 18 times x squared would be negative 18x squared. So when we change that sign, these will cancel as well. So then we got a negative 18 times a negative 3, which would be 52 positive. Oh, 54, thank you. Uh, since it doesn't have an X, we need to plant it over here with this. No, let me get rid of that stinking X. 54, there we go. Now that was positive, so we need to subtract it. Um, so dropping that 17X down, and we got 3 minus 54, which is a negative 51. And this would be a 17X that we dropped here. Now we could get rid of that 17x by dividing by an x, but this is kind of the good news is, as far as I remember on the homework, they don't want this any more complicated than it is. So in other words, so this is the remainder, very good. So since this is our remainder, remainder, I think I ran out of space, remainder is this, we're just going to add that 17x Minus 51, that's a bad 51. That was just as bad. Let's try it again. Minus 51 all over whatever our divisor was, x squared minus 3. And there we go. I'll write it below as well. So we got a 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 7x minus 18, plus 17x minus 51, all over x squared minus 3. That looks a little bit better.